Well, it's that time of year when people hear things that go bump in the night. You may even see a ghost or two appear on your doorstep. But what do you do if the ghosts are real? Who are you going to call? Lisa Zierenberg and her friends at New England Paranormal. Like most paranormal investigators, my interest was sparked by a personal experience. I grew up in a house with a lot of activity. They had doors that would open and close, um, cabinets that would open and close, things would disappear. Years later, my children, without me ever saying anything to them, started to experience the same types of experiences that I had as a child. And I just came to the realization that I think my house is haunted. Um, and moved to Massachusetts and actually had an opportunity to join a group that explored um, in a scientific manner paranormal activity. This particular EVP that I have right here was taken at the Gilson Cemetery in Nashua, New Hampshire last fall. And this cemetery is reportedly very haunted and it lived up to its reputation the night we were there. We had a lot of uh, EVPs, a lot of strange things that happened. This EVP we captured was at the front wall of the cemetery, and we're not really sure exactly what it's saying, but it kind of, it's kind of like a voice saying, hey, hey. We're not really sure what that was. It wasn't one of us. There were only three of us, and... Nobody was really standing very close to me at the time, but it was an interesting one. We come into a location and we are armed with equipment. We have EMF detectors, we have thermometers, we have our cameras. What we're trying to do is find a scientific explanation for why something might be happening. If you're complaining of odors or noises, we're going to look for maybe rodent droppings because that could be the scratching noises that you're hearing in your walls. We're going to look we're going to try to see if you have old electrical wiring that's giving off high EMFs because a lot of times um, it's been documented that high EMF frequencies will cause a feeling of paranoia like you're being watched. All right, this room here, the bed was there, she saw an apparition. So I would say that the best bet we're going to have is to take one camera and put it on this mirror right here and face out toward where that bed used to be and maybe take the other camera and put it on that table where the bed used to be, pointing to where the bed now is. Can you tap me on the shoulder? Either shoulder. You pick the one. I was in an airplane this year, and it's just still barely going away. Like the pressure, <laughs> really. I mean, it was like I thought that my head was going to explode for a minute. Hmm. Have you had that happen? I haven't, no. But Deanna said when we were in here earlier that she was like getting. I don't know what she said. She was. What did Deanna report when she was here? She was getting lightheaded or nauseous. She, she was felt a little hmm. nauseous. It I really want to be a believer, um, but the more I do this and the more I don't find it, it kind of makes me a little, you know, a little bit of a skeptic. Um, you know, generally we don't find anything and maybe it's because I'm looking so hard. Is Lisa's house haunted? We'll let you decide. Listen to these EVPs captured during the investigation while we go to break.